Today we're gonna to be cash flow as a kindergarten teacher. We're gonna go over what you need to make to win and beat the game. On the financial statement, you have a little bit of debt, a mortgage, and $400 in cash to start with. What you need to accumulate is $2,130 in passive income to beat the game. My strategy is I'm going to start with small houses and stocks and flip them into a bigger business. Follow along. Three. I'm going to toggle through these opportunities until I find a good deal collecting paychecks along the way. I'm only going to pass on this because I only have a little bit of cash left that I just started and there's not too much money on a flip on these. You can make about 15000 but I'm going to wait for the next opportunity. It's okay that I'm just skipping some of these stock deals because I'm gonna eventually come across something and the whole time I'm collecting paychecks without losing any cash. I've had several chances to buy stock right now. I have an opportunity right now to triple my money. I'm going to wait a little bit more because I think I can get a better return if I just hold out. As you can see, because I waited, I have a new opportunity. What was gonna happen was I would have bought at $10 a share and sold them for 30, but now I'm gonna double that because I'm buying them at $5 a share and selling them at 30. So I'm gonna buy about $2,500 worth of shares. Here's another opportunity where I can make four to one of my money, $10, sell them for 40, I'm gonna buy about $1,000. Now I've got the opportunity to buy more shares at $5, but I'm gonna hold out because if you look at my expenses and my cash on hand, if I get downsized in the next move, then I'll be out of money and I'll have to save up again before I have another opportunity. So I'm gonna wait till I get past the downsized card and wait for a better opportunity. I'm past the downside card and now I have an opportunity for another condo. The cash flow isn't quite right and I don't really have the down payment. I don't wanna go negative for this because there's better opportunities for capital gains when I resell and flip something. Here we are diversifying our portfolio. There is more opportunities with these stocks. Now I'm actually buying these under what they typically trade for. They trade for 10 to 30 and I'm getting them at $5, which means even if on the next turn it goes to $10, I can double my money. So I'm gonna buy another thousand dollars worth of this. Now I'm hoping for cash flow at this point, but I've got yet another opportunity for these stocks. The same stock that I already own is now trading at $1. So it went down, but now the opportunity, instead of making six to one of my money, I can make 30 to one of my money. So I'm gonna invest heavily. I'm far away from the downside card. I'm gonna take a little bit of a risk. I'm gonna buy $2,000 worth. Raw land can be a good investment, but it doesn't pop up too much. So if you have extra cash, it's good to sit on it for a little while. But if you're just starting out, it's not the best play. Okay for you has gone down and now it's at half price. So I'm gonna buy some more of this. As luck would have it, a few turns later, the raw land popped up. It doesn't happen too much when this card pops up, but I missed the opportunity. That's okay. This is gonna happen in the game. You can't win them all. Starting a part-time company is a bit of a risk because there's no guarantee of returns, but it's something that in the game, you can start very low cost. And in the background, eventually it can start to earn money out of nowhere. And then you could sell it for a good profit. So I'm gonna take a risk. I'm gonna buy the company for 3,000.
Now, because I took the risk on the risk on the startup for 3,000, it actually painted me in the corner for this investment here, because I need 3,000 to buy this 3-2 house that cash flows. I'm gonna take a little bit of a risk. My payday says I make $1,100. I'm gonna take out a loan to purchase this. I'll actually lose a little bit of cash flow, but the upside to this is these houses tend to sell for 135,000 at the top end. So I'll, more, uh, I'll make about $80,000 profit when it sells. I've got another opportunity to buy one of these, but in case you just noticed that I went on a vacation and I had to pay for that out of loan. So if I'm gonna buy this, I can flip it for a lot more money. The issue is I don't have a lot of cash on hand. And if I keep doing this, my paydays are gonna keep going down and down and down. So it is a risk. You really wanna keep some cash on hand. I'm, I'm, I'm playing it kind of risky here because if this road continues, you can go bankrupt. But I'm gonna take this risk because if you look at my portfolio, I have a lot of stocks that could probably sell in the next couple turns. And there you have it. In the next move, I could sell a couple of houses for $100,000. So I'm gonna sell this one. And then I'm gonna sell this one. Now, if you look at the cash I have on hand, I've got $100,000. I can pay back all those loans that I just took out. Now I planned on flipping all that stock, but I can make a big deal and get out of the race faster. So you can either prolong the game and unload all your stock or use the cash to start buying bigger businesses to beat the game quicker. It's up to you, but this is the quickest run. Good news here is if I purchase this, I'm out of the rat race. The game is over. It's $50,000 down payment. I have $80,000 in cash and it'll be $2,800 in cash flow. So it's $1,000 more than what I actually need. I didn't get to sell and flip all this stock that I've been buying, but I still beat the game. Enjoy the game. Come back, watch the video on the screen. I'm gonna play as a different player, probably the janitor or the airplane or engineer. I'll see you in the next video.